Pinterest 27 too was written on a canvas of artsy blue, with the intention of spreading the words of a few verses from a book we hardly even knew, always just trusting its words were true and ignoring the more boring parts, just focusing on verse 2. Where God guides, He will provide. Isaiah 58 11. Guides and provides sound great, but what about 1 through 5 where God roasts the people's fake lives? He calls out their empty fasting to expose that which is lacking, which keeps us tracking to verse 10, where he gives us practical ways of alleviating sin. God's desire is to break the chains of injustice and to set the prisoners free, which contradicts the people's desire to focus on me. And when we start to do these things, only then will we see that God then works to set all of us free. And when we make our will his will, there he will be providing and guiding just as we provide and guide. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. It's great to hear that God has a plan for me, but do we see that God gave Israel to their enemy? God shut off his ears from hearing even while his people were fearing. God is speaking to them in a hopeless situation, having given them over to a savage, sinful nation. The one who plans to get them out is the one who led them there. But don't go on thinking that this is so unfair, because even after all their failing, God comes back to share that he has a plan to lead them out of torment and despair. A plan for all nations to be heard. A plan that we can trust in even when our vision is blurred. A plan that's better than every other option we would have preferred. A plan much better than the option we deserve. God has a plan for us, but he still saves us apart. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God's word is so much deeper than the truths we settle for. God's word desires for us to help the poor instead of sitting comfortable and stagnant behind our door. Maybe it makes sense why we start to feel anxious. Because God was not providing for us according to his promise. Maybe God is doing exactly what he said and our hurt comes up because some of us can't get it through our heads. Artsy can be deceiving and misleading. So hop in the Bible and read for yourself why Jesus is bleeding.